N, you say? You know him? I know of him, definitely. He's been a real thorn in the city's side. Sounds rough. He slaughtered many of my people in cold blood. Oh. Why bring him up? Uh, well, no reason. Hmm? What's wrong? Is it something Monica said? Is there a problem? No. Don't worry about it. It's just a passing thought. Yeah? Oh, I got some news earlier. We're not sleeping in tomorrow. Our briefing starts early. Get some rest while you can. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Good night. Night. We can make use of this. Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. to add more names.
Let's make the most of our break, guys. I definitely feel stronger. Ugh. Looks good to me. Shall we try it straight away? Keep things on a tight loop. to add more names. 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 Okay, then. Sneaking into Agnes Castle, huh? Seems we won't be catching a break anytime soon. So this person who knows where the true queens are... Uh, who was it again? 
You're looking for Gondor. Ah, that's right. So then, we've just got to find this Gondor, break him out of the prison camp and get the spark out of there. Hmm. Luckily, they don't kill us immediately after we've been captured. We're held beneath the castle, in a detention facility. To perform forced labour? There's that as well. But mostly, it's to set an example. Example? On the day of an eclipse, once a year, they hold a mass execution of prisoners at Hope's Rest, a hill on the castle's south edge. The whole event gets projected high into the sky. what you meant. It's to show us we're powerless. And the place they do this is Hope's Rest. What kind of sick joke is that? The next eclipse falls about a month from now. So that's our deadline for what we've got to do. Contact the prisoner and get the intel on the Queens. A month? Mio. Well, no two ways about it. We better get started now. Yeah, and we better hurry. We can't waste a single day. Let's say we make it in without a hitch. Won't the you-know-what give us away? Uni, I don't think we do know. The red glowing Mobius eye thing. Oh, bad. Those eye patches I gave you? There's a special alloy embedded in them. Long as you got that, you'll be near invisible. Slip clean under their noses. And after we've got the info, how do we get out? You've put the Kavesi Annihilator out of commission. I'm sure you'll think of something. Even if we get out, what about your lot? You don't need to worry about them. They knew the risk. That doesn't make it okay. Yeah, well... That's how we do things. But still. I'll tell you to be prepared to make sacrifices. All right. Huh? However, only as our absolute last resort. Is that fair? That's awfully kind of you. The kind doesn't win wars. There's a nopon called Samon in engineering. He'll be able to find you a way into the castle. Get the details from him. See some relations have changed.
Let's poke around. Okay. Wonder what's inside. These are worth a bit, right? We should take good care of that. to add more names. Is that... Uh... Wonder if there's another way somewhere.
hope we can make use of this. Say, isn't this valuable? We should take good care of that. more names. According to Mr. Salmon, Timna's place should be around here. Do you really think she can come up with 300 ether cylinders? to add more names.
Good to add more names. more names.
should be done with the ether cylinders now. Let's get back to Mr. Salmon. Should be done with the ether cylinders now. Let's get back to. Mr. Salmon. Job well done. Salmon pull all nighter to install. Expect to be ship shaped by tomorrow morning. That soon? Salmon never flounder. Always get job done. Thank you so much. Thank you, not necessary. Salmon is fixer upper by trade. What's that? Ah, this is Ultimate Vessel. Ultimate vessel. That right. Even Vortex in Raging Great Sea not slow advance. It'd go down in history as Queen of Boats. Still work in progress, but sure to bring to fruition someday. It's someone's dream. Wow. Oh my, oh my. Whatever is the meaning of this? That's most peculiar. There had never been any issue with me hitching a ride on an armory before. Now you're telling me that I, moi, yours truly, may not accompany you. Elder's orders, ma'am. Please don't make things difficult, Miss Masher. You know well enough. I don't have the authority to permit your departure without at least a platoon for protection. Yes, I do understand, of course. Sensible, really. Given poor Uncle Gurney's horrid plight, heightening security on all outbound transports, are we, Moni, dearest? I've needs, too. Forget platoons. I've a mind to enlist every lost number there is. Would that suit you better? That said, perchance, if you were to reconsider, I would be more than capable of fending for myself. Do you see what I'm alluding to? I'm in no position to decide, Mom. In any case, I'm afraid you'll have to take it up with the Elder. 
Oh. I commend your obedience. Thank you. That'll be all. Oh, what a wet blanket. And here I was, so raring to go. I feel as a babe cast by the wayside to business. Let's see. How might I foil Monny Dearest's little arrangement? Outside of the city. And if so, might it trouble you to take me with you? That came out of nowhere. Who even are you? You don't know. This is Lady. Ah! Oh, where are my manners? Please forgive my impertinence. It's simply that I'm in something of a hurry. Masha, pleased to make your acquaintance. Hi, Masha. We're. Oh, I know full well who you are. You're a known quantity here, my dears. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone in the city who doesn't know of you. You said you wanted to accompany us. Why? Gosh, aren't you a cautious one? It's nothing of grave importance, I assure you. I just happen to have some personal matters to attend to in the Faunus region. The Aegis Wilderness, to be precise. It may surprise you, but I happen to have a modicum of skill in battle, above that of the average layperson. It wouldn't be the first time I've left the city. In fact, I'm rather accustomed to working on my own. But it seems I've been met with some skepticism. Dear me. Pull the other one. You can fight! Her attire certainly doesn't conform to lost numbers dress code regulations. It's about as far from military fatigues as you can get without falling off the edge of the world. Yes, yes, I get that a lot. But I'm afraid my fashion sense is non-negotiable. Only when one pursues beauty with every breath is it that one may validate proof of one's existence. Uh, sure. Eager's wilderness, huh? We might not be going there for some time. Is that okay? No trouble at all. I'm sure you have your own duties to fulfill. I hope you'll allow me to humbly assist you as a concerned and dedicated representative of the city. Well, as you can see, I could not have found more exceptional bodyguards. You'll have no qualms now, I hope. Ah, give Moni dearest my regards, won't you? Very well. All right, people, what say we get a move on? Time waits for no cognoscenti. Yeah, okay, keep your air on. Well, guess you're with us for a while then, Masha. Don't worry, you'll be in good company. The Eagles' wilderness is fast. We should make ingress from... The Zem's crossway side. The Aegis Wilderness is vast. We should make it. Ingress from the Zem's Crossway side. The Aegis Wilderness is vast.
should make ingress from the Zem's crossway site. Well, lady, we're here. The Aegis Wilderness. Like you asked. Lady? I do have a name, you know. Um, so, Masha, what's the plan now? You are aware of the Annihilation events, yes? Of course we are. Do you think we've had our heads stuck in the mud or something? Well, I happen to be looking for a patch of land that was the site of such an event. The Aegis Wilderness, being prone to frequent events, makes it a prime location for my purposes. Except that runs the risk of us walking straight into another one ourselves. Yeah, we better not stick around here too long. Hold on. Tyon used to be in Agnes's survey branch. I think he's researching the area. Wonderful. Music to my ears. There's one old site. The survey branch maps have it labelled as Piento Basin. It's something of a trek, but it might be sensible to head there instead of us wandering around aimlessly for hours. My, what a strikingly valuable piece of information. I couldn't have asked for more. We'll go with you. You don't want to be dealing with all the monsters roaming around here alone. <laughs> a most gracious offer. I suppose I'll take you up on that. So, what's so important about this place, anyhow? A picture is worth a thousand words, my dear. If luck should favor us, you're sure to find out soon enough. Marching straight... ...into annihilation zones. You must have nerves of steel. Fighting for territory, I suppose. Ooh, monster alert. My oh my, what a thorn in our side. My, oh my, to think that I would find one so soon. Let it never be said that the fruits of one's labors are not rewarded. What have you got there? Again, I must extend to you my deepest thanks. I would never have laid my hands upon this were it not for your sterling efforts. It's... a rock? Looks like a rock to me. Hmm. Those are unusual inclusions. I've never seen anything like it. It's as if a number of different types of stone have all been interlaced. On the ball once more, your assessment is absolutely correct. 
This stone was formed after several types of subterraneous minerals were exposed to tremendous energy, merging into one. Tremendous energy? The annihilation effect. <laughs> it finally clicked, I see. You might even call this stone a new type of mineral, a curious byproduct of annihilation. As it is created through sheer chance, it is vanishingly improbable that one might reproduce it through human means. So it's a pretty precious stone, then, is what you're saying? <laughs> Do you see now why it is that I was so adamant to depart the city? It does seem pretty special. But what are you going to do with it? Wear it? Not a terrible idea, really. But no, I already have a different purpose for it in mind. Oh, yeah? Indeed. Allow me to reiterate before I recapitulate. A picture is worth a thousand words. Chosen friends, might I ask you to return with me once more to the city? Indeed, what outcome might this ill-omened stone, born of calamity, bring about? In due time, I will show you. Without further ado, heavens above, I'd completely forgotten. W what is it? I'm so sorry. I failed to mention what is arguably the most vital facet of my identity. Come again? Um, I know it's rather late, but allow me to formally introduce myself. Masher, Lapidarist extraordinaire at your humble service. Lapi what now? A lapidarist extraordinaire, my dear. An artisan of the crafts, if you will, in drab layman's terms. I specialize in gem processing and precious metalwork, mainly. But I also dabble in many other types of ornamentation. Ah, huh. sounds like you keep busy. Could I trouble you for a bigger reaction? Uh, you're the fabled Lapidarist extraordinaire, or how inspirational would fit well in this conversational beat? If anything, I'm surprised you had time to learn to fight like you do, on top of all your other hobbies, I'd say. Oh, I hadn't considered that possibility. Thank you for your honest opinion. These crafts you're talking about, you can make something from that stone. I can and I shall. Let's see. Judging by the quality of this stone, it might make for a fanciful ring. Normally, it's my policy not to show my methods to the general public. But I'll make an exception this time, just for you. Now watch as the city's lauded lapidarist extraordinaire flaunts her artisanal prowess. Let's make the most of our break, guys. That ought to do it. There. 
more refined than ever. Beautifully done, if I do say so myself. Durable and easy to refine. I made the right call picking that stone for an accessory. Mio, I'd like to impart this ring to you. Huh? Are you sure? Never more. Take it and keep it to commemorate our meeting. Wait. Didn't you go searching for that stone because you wanted the ring? They do say that curiosity and danger are two trunks of the same tree. What you ought to know about me is that I live as I please. That's really all there is to it. I'm surprised. That's not the kind of mentality I'd have expected from one of the city folk. Yes, you'd think that, wouldn't you? But having different thoughts and beliefs, that's what makes us human. Just as the people of House Vandom march on Mobius, waving the banner of war, so do you have House Doyle, who stay back, putting the city's preservation above all else. But that's not to say everyone who chooses pacifism thinks the way a Doyle might. Myself, for instance. But aren't we supposed to all be working together to defeat Mobius? Yes, I acknowledge that truth as well. It's a thorny question, to be sure. But be that as it may, I simply cannot in good conscience abandon my principles. Even straying from the soldier's path, how could I deride anyone who seeks meaning in life? who strives for an enlightened future. <sighs> the city today is a melting pot, one great messy confluence of thoughts. But I'm of the belief that one day they will all meld together to create sweet, perfect harmony. Much like the stone that we discovered. Incidentally, and I'm sorry to change the subject, I think I've taken quite a liking to you all. And on that note, I have a suggestion. What would you say to entering into an exclusive contract with moi? Huh? Contract for what? It would grant you the right to receive my premium services as a lepidarist extraordinaire, expressly and expeditiously. Clearer now? And that applies to you, especially. Me? You have the makings of a model, Mio. Such qualities are rare to come by. You are a diamond in the rough, my dear. <laughs> I can see it now. You'll be a future trendsetter. Thanks, I guess. Oh, but I wouldn't dream of forcing you. That would go against my principles. All right, my dears. Might I have an answer? Yeah, okay. I wouldn't mind that. What's everyone else think? I don't see why not. Sounds like a good offer to me. You're gonna make gear for us, yeah? Can't say no to that. No objections from me. Nor me. And you evidently know how to handle yourself. Yeah, I want a ring just like Mimi's. Splendid. Then it's a done deal. Oh, one more thing. I'll have to ask you to procure the necessary materials for my work. And of course, I'll have to ask you to reimburse me for the labor as well. What? Oh, come on! You're gonna charge us? Some generosity that is. <laughs> on the contrary, I'd be more wary of anyone who offers their services for free. And besides, I pride myself on my skills as a lapidarist extraordinaire. 
rest assured that any articles you request will be delivered to the highest possible standard. Satisfaction guaranteed. We could do with some food. Let's move out. done. Wow! Amazing! Okay, I'll back to you the next one. I even brought the materials and stuff. Make me something mega cool, yeah? Sure. What kind of blade do you want? Sword? Gun? 
fists. Okie dokie. Hey. Hmm? If we didn't have to fight each other, you think that could have been Yorin? Yorin? Did you ditch training again just to work on this stuff? Did not. I'm not skiving. I just had a bad headache. I gave notice too. Excuse me? No one did that for you, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm used to doing it. Okay, it's done. Hold on. Is that... <laughs> Who's that? Lance? This one's Uni, and this is Noah. Hey! That looks just like me. Good job, matey. Huh? I love it, Euron. Uh, yeah? Yeah. We don't have your talent. All we can do is slash and shoot each other. But you create things. <laughs> hey, so who's this? We know someone like that. Looks like a real tough fella. Um, that's... Uh, it's me. What? what? This is you. It looks nothing like you. Mm -mm. Yeah, but, like, that's what I want to end up like someday. <laughs> Silly, huh? It's not silly. I believe in you. I've seen exactly what you can do. You think he's got what it takes? You're talking out your bum. No, I'm not. He can do it. Right, Jorn? Uh, uh, I'll try then. I'll try really hard. He looked up to me, man. Smiling. Sometimes it's hard to judge, huh? What we're supposed to be protecting. It all gets a bit blurry. Yeah. Even so, his smile was the real thing. We should cherish that. Next time we'll think twice about who really needs punching. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. So you saw it? Huh? Your husk. Your own lifeless husk. You've come across it. How did you...? Your eyes. You looked like you were gazing into your own past. That's crazy. Live long enough and you learn how to figure out stuff like that. Oh, it hasn't been as long as you think. Folk do tell me I'm pretty sharp. <gasps> now all. How come you don't wake these guys up? Can you use the help? Or is it because they'd just be Mobius fodder? They can't be fodder. If we wake them up here, they'll be freed from the shackles of the flame clock. So why then? Because this is our fight. We don't know how long it'll take and their lives are short. 
So you don't want to get them mixed up in everything? <laughs> That's one reason. And the other? People need to learn who they really are. What they have to leave behind for posterity. I want them to wake up in a world that affords them that chance. How do we discover who we really are? That from the husk. Yeah. You won't find yourself there. Huh? You've got to look to the present and the future only. The one in the past, it isn't you. You didn't make that and it's not yours. Make that? But look to the future and you can build yourself up however you like. You can become whoever you want to be. I can? You've got the power to do so. Be true to yourself. Thank you. That's... Well, that's what my dad always said. Your dad? Mm. But it goes for you, too. True to myself. We'll see. Did you seriously just burn your tongue again? Uh, <laughs> ah, you saw that. Well, your soup is one of the highlights of my day. Really? Whoa, thanks. I'm flattered. It was just the truth. <laughs> Want some to taste test? For real? <laughs> Good thing I got off early. You enjoy cooking? Oh, it's been drilled into me. It's a ritual now. Can't really start the day without making a pot. I get you. Two months, huh? Since that battle. Yeah. You're tough. No joke. Eh? We heard from uni that you're just like us. Oh, that part. I've been plodding along playing it all cool, but when we saw him again, I thought, nah, snuff all of this. I'm scared too, just so you know. Since Monica told us the whole truth, I've hoped, no, I'm sure I'll see Miyabi again. I'm so sure of it. Hard, wasn't it, hearing that? Yeah. It sure beats ignorance. That's what Noah thinks, too. You're hard as nails. What we don't know might as well not exist. It's an obvious way to think, but it isn't right. Closing my eyes doesn't mean evil disappears. And so, you go on? Yeah, I'll keep going. While my flame still flickers to the bitter end. With all of you. You said it.
How about we go here? 